Hey everyone, Bob and Audrey for this week's Everyday Hope. And you know, there's it's just really great feeling to be celebrated. So we are actually celebrating you today. But most of all, you know this, that Jesus is celebrating you. Mm -hmm. Celebrating the day you were born and knowing the very best you and the perfect representative that you are of him on this earth. And actually, Audrey and I are both coming off our birthdays. Yeah. Mine was February 5th, and hers was just this past week, March 4th. Yeah. And so we celebrate our birthdays. <laughs> and so many. And I've got a new birthday. You know what shirt was on. interesting? I love Facebook <laughs> on birthdays because you guys, if, Everybody. Anyone, if you have a Facebook, it's so fun because people you don't hear from very often just wish you a happy birthday and it just warms your heart. And I think this is, this is great. But a couple people mentioned that they remembered being little kids mm. during Sunshiny Day when I would sing, You're special. God made you. You're not like anyone else. And you know, if you don't know this about me, back in the, er, the late 80s, we had a children's TV show that we produced together called Sunshiny Day. Don't go there. <laughs> no, something, something you can Google. <laughs> no, no, no. But anyway, um, th that song I sung to kids every day, just to little kids. It was on secular TV and I just look them right in their heart, not in their eyes, but in their heart and say, you're not like anyone else. You are a special representation in this earth of who Jesus is. And mm -hmm. he's your best friend. And that's yeah. still the same message today to all of us. Yeah. Okay. So for this week's Everyday Hope, we want to take a look at Psalm 84 verse 1. Mm -hmm. And it says, how lovely, Lord. Lord, how lovely are your dwelling places. And when you think of the word or the concept there, dwelling places, a lot of times you initially think where you are. Lord, where you dwell is extremely lovely, and that's mm -hmm. where I want to go, and that's where I want to be, because it's somewhere it's over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, just uh, this week, you know, Audrey was reading that, and she began to recognize and see, hey, wait a minute. Where the are... The light turned on. Revelation light. Where are your dwelling places? And then the Bible also says that we are his dwelling places, yes, we that are. the Holy Spirit dwells within us. Mm -hmm. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. More specifically, you are the dwelling place of God. So how you are the lovely are How lovely are you? you? And that's kind of what we wanted to say. It's true. It's how lovely are you, his dwelling place? And how lovely are the people that you meet? How lovely are the people that God brings into your life? Mm -hmm. And we don't need to think that they need to be like us or or um, change them yeah. to be, you know, that we're the same, but there's beauty in the differences. Our delightful God actually revels in variety. He just loves variety. That's why there's a different snowflake. That's why there's different ones of us. He revels Every in you being unique, us. special, and there's no one exactly like you. And that is the best news for you today because mm -hmm. we're just going to declare, sure, you have strengths and weaknesses, but when the resurrection love life of Jesus comes in you, he brings to life all of the aspects in nature of who he is through you. And he does it different with Bob than he does with me. And that's okay. And that's a good thing. And, and very good. And Bob, thing. something that you say, <laughs> yeah. we're, marriage is, um, how do you say it? Um, I don't know. When you become one, you become, in marriage, you become one. The yeah. two become one. The two become one. Oneness yeah. is not sameness. Exactly. So we're not the same. Mm -mm. Because that wouldn't be right in a marriage. And the same thing with you. You're not the same as anyone else. But wow, do we ever delight in the dwelling place of God in you. Good. Also, I'd like to mention that Audrey and I, we're going to be in Ottawa coming up the end of this month, end of March, beginning of April. Yeah. And that's at Peace Tower. Church in Ottawa. We mm -hmm. can't wait. And also this week's Live Transformed, this Thursday, you're going to love our podcast with Dr. Jim Richards. We celebrate how we uniquely experience the love of God. Yeah. And Audrey and I, we travel this uh, this week to Rhode Island and we're speaking for a um, pro-life mm -hmm. group. You know, we're going to fight for the, the lives of the unborn and that's yeah. going to be very exciting. So thank you for your prayers in that way. And as well, Audrey and I, we're spending a lot of time. So we have an intensive that's coming up. If you'd like to be a part, there might be enough time for you to get in there. Uh, but, you know, thank you for your prayers. Yes. We're spending a lot of time with couples in crisis, yeah. pastors in crisis, not knowing where to go and where to turn. Mm. I'm thankful that they're finding us and that we're there because of you, because of your faithful love yes. and support. It means the world and it's making the difference in individuals' lives and even generations. I want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my precious friend who's watching this. Wow, how mm -hmm. lovely is this dwelling place. And I pray yes. that they'll sense the Holy Spirit right now as they're listening, 
that, wow, I can be celebrated because, Lord, you reflect your character through me, and that is my desire. What a great desire to have. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are a beautiful dwelling place.